Hi there! Welcome to Storytime with Miss Dana. My name is Miss Dana. I'm the Youth and Family Coordinator at Freedens United Church of Christ in St. Charles, Missouri. Today we are going to read a book called The Greatest Gift is Love. Most of you are sure you know just what the word love means. But if you think of it, you'll find it means more than it seems. Perhaps you say you love to swim or love to eat a lot or maybe you love to sing and dance or love new clothes you've bought. It isn't wrong to love these things. But love means much, much more. God wanted us to know just what true love was fashioned for. So he inspired Apostle Paul, who preached the world around, to write about this word called love. And here is what he found. Here's Paul. If you could speak all languages from every land quite well without the love of Christ in you, you're but a clanking bell. Or if you spoke like angels do in soft, mysterious voices, your words without the gift of love are only jingling noises. So we have to say our words with love. If you could preach like famous men and tell about God's glory, omitting love, your words would be an empty sounding story. If future times and mysteries are understood by you, but you've no word of love to share, your benefits are few. If you have read the world's great books and understand all knowledge, such wisdom without love is like a run-down empty college. And if your faith is strong enough to make huge mountains tumble, such power without the True love would be no more than thunder's rumble. And if you gave your goods away, everything you could, good works like these without your love won't do you any good. And just as worthless it would be if you would give to burn your very body set on fire, no blessing would that earn. These kinds of things may be well good, may well be good, but if they aren't really love, for love is special, something more, it comes from God above. True love is patient, quiet, calm. True love is always kind. It doesn't laugh when someone falls. To weakness, it's blind. Love isn't jealous, stingy, proud. It's never mean or rude. It won't tell others what you've done or look for gratitude. And even when it's abused, it's hard to make love mad. When good and evil are the choice, love doesn't choose bad. When life gets hard and things go wrong, true love won't ever quit. Not even when good friends depart or pain and sadness hit. Those people who predict things fail, their words are often wrong. Those people who know languages can't master every tongue. 
And people who are really smart are known to make mistakes. But love won't ever let you down. It's got just what it takes. When you are young and still a child, you do the normal things. But when you've grown, you change your ways to what adulthood brings. Or just as life on earth seems hairy, like seen in some cheap mirror, or when we've finally grown in heaven, everything is clearer. God gave his love by sending down his son to suffer for us. He shows his love more every day and he will never ignore us. And just as he loved us, he asks us all to love each other. He asks us, please pray for everyone as sisters and as brothers and as siblings. Three special gifts, faith, hope, and love, come straight from God above. Both faith and hope are great. However, the greatest gift is love. The end. Thank you for joining me for story time today. Remember that everything we do is the best when we do it with love because we care for one another and what we're doing and why we're doing it. Friends, have a good week and go in peace. Remember, I love you and Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.